then they'll be seeing Daniel Lynch and they've seen a lot of Daniel Lynch. This will be his sixth start against Minnesota this year. He becomes one of just 12 pitchers all time to make six starts against one team in the same season. Kicked to junior throws in time. Just the way they practice it earlier today. Oh what six three. <laughs> he and a lot of the other young starters trying to get through the fifth. Nice. It's been a busy inning for Junior. Three up, three down. Daniel Lynch gets through the Twins easily tonight. Going to be going up against Bailey Ober, who was good in his last start. 70 pitches on a little bit of a pitch count. He's, he's still going to be limited a little bit today, but depending on how well he's pitching. And that's hit well to center field. Celestino is back, all the way back and into the water. Another leadoff home run for Melendez. It gives him 17 career home runs in his rookie year. Third leadoff homer. There's a shot into center field. Well, he went with that slider nicely. 110 exit velo. You can't hit it any harder. Perez now with 72 runs batted in. Shallow right. And a long run in for Walner, and he won't get it. And then he goes down, and the ball rolls behind him. Junior is around third. Here comes the throw from right, and it's going to be cut off. You can't contain Salvi, and you can't contain Junior. That kind of speed, man. Then Walner, he's making his second career start. He put his glove up like he was going to try to catch to deke the runner, end up deking himself. Two strikes. A little pop up retreating as Palacios in the outfield grass, and Walner with the catch right near Palacios' shoulder. Royals do get a couple of runs, but leave two on in the first. Drill to left, and the ball not caught by the left fielder Melendez, and it'll be a sharp single to left for Celestino. With one out, that'll bring up Palacios. Chance for two. Massey to the bag. Back to first. Not in time. It was never really a double play ball. It was hit so softly. Sanchez down to third and now it's up to Walner. 2 0 Royals. And a base hit to left. Walner comes through. And the Twins get at least one back in the second inning. Jumping on the first pitch. Lining one sharply to left field for an RBI hit. Well, we've seen him do that, but I don't know if he's completely ready to play at the big league level right now. But you can see the tools there. I mean, you can see the arm, you can see the bat. And he'll hit it in the air to left center field. Shallow the wind will knock it down. And Melendez is there. So the leadoff walk turns into a run. And now it's 2 1 Royals to the bottom of the second. Hit to the gap. And that ball's going to carry. Correa to second base with a booming double to left center field. Solid contact once again. And the tying run is now in scoring position. 0-2 count to Sanchez and the pitch he struck him out swinging on a breaking ball and that's out number three the twins don't score leave Correa at second 2-1 Royals bottom three coming up a 2-1 pitch in the way and Salvi swings and lines it sharply to left field for a base hit and like they say Denny sometimes you just got to let the big dog eat and Salvi did right there he is two for two. Over ready brings the 2 0, and that ball is hit to first and down the line, off the glove, and that is going to be a fair ball. Salvi races to third, will hold there, and Pasquantino into second base with a double. Well, the Royals with some fortune there because Pasquantino didn't hit it that hard, but hit it sharply enough to have it bounce once and then hit on the top of the glove of Jose Miranda in fair territory. And now they're hoping Edward Olivares can come through with two out. Olivares lines it to center field. Salvi scores. Pasquantino holds. And as the throw comes in, Olivares picks up 90 feet. So Ali picks up both Taylor and Massey with an RBI base hit to center field that scores Salvador Perez. They almost sent Pasquantino. But the most important thing is the Royals got a run out of this situation. On the ground. Off the heel of the glove of Pasquantino, and Gordon will fly around first and go to second. Should be an error on the Kansas City first baseman, but we'll, Twins have a runner at second to lead off the fourth inning. Count of two balls and one strike. Good lead by Gordon. 
Splintered bat, and it went right over the head of Lynch. Oh, my goodness. And he had no idea that could have been really bad. He's uh, been fortunate twice. Correa's smash hit him in the foot, didn't seem to affect him at all. And that splintered bat sailed right over his head, and naturally he was looking at the flight of the ball. That'll be up to Matt Walner, singled his last time, drove in the first run. And that's a base hit to right. He comes through again. That ball rolling into the corner. It's an extra base hit. And Matt Walner driving in both twins runs here. It's a 3-2 ball game. I'm sure his parents are enjoying you know, game four, game five in the big leagues as much as they enjoyed his first one. Oh, what a catch by Urshela. A line drive slicing away from him, but he stayed with it and made an outstanding catch. A little look over for Correa, like, see, that's what shortstop looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific play. This ball had some slice on it, too, off a of left-handed batter's bat. Three pitches, and down he goes, and Masevich opens the six with back-to-back -back strikeouts. On the ground to Bobby Wood Jr., and no sweat for him in the sixth inning. Two strikeouts and a ground out, and it's 3-2 Royals to the bottom of the sixth. Here's the 2-1, and there's a ground ball hit to third. They go second one, first base, two. That's a double play. And it ends the inning, so Coleman does the job, doesn't throw that many pitches, and gets two outs. And we head to the bottom of the seventh inning. It's the Royals three and the Twins two. Eaton goes the other way. He has two hits. So the Royals have a speed guy on, and Nate Eaton opened the bottom of the seventh inning, needing some insurance. Eaton is running. Pitch is high. Hamilton's throw is in on a bounce, and not in time. And Nate Eaton is eight for eight in stolen bases this month. Yeah, and that gives him ten overall. He, he takes off, he stays low, and he runs right into it. He's so quick coming out of the blocks. Needing to tack on in the later innings here. And now Bobby Wood Jr. steps to the plate. A swing and a shot off of the shortstop into shallow left center field. That should be a base hit as Eaton scores from third to give the Royals a 4-2 to two lead. Well, that was a hot smash with the infield in, so Correa tried to make the play as it was hit just to his left, but it skipped off of his shoulder and into left center field, and that will be an RBI single by Bobby. If it comes down, who's the closest to it? That may drop, and it does. And Salvi, all he can do is just shrug his shoulders and say, when you're hot, you're hot. That's his second hit tonight in that area. And Vinny hits a ground ball to Correa. And Salvi does the right thing. And yet, the Twins may challenge whether Correa tagged Salvi or not. But right now, as it stands, Bobby Wood Jr. scored as the Twins were trying to complete the play in between first and second. So Salvi, by hitting the brakes, did the right thing. He took the rhythm and the flow out of the double play. No challenge. And the Royals go up 5-2. to two. Barlow leads the major leagues with nine saves this year where he's gotten more than three outs. That's the most in the major leagues by three. Luis Arise is going to pinch hit. Arise grounds it right to Massey. And that will do it and the Royals have won the first two games of the series with Minnesota with a final score tonight of 5-2. Way to go Scotty boy. Nice work. 23rd save on the season.